Hey everyone, Rick Albert here. Not all buyer's agents are created equal. Today, we're gonna to talk about three questions to ask them. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so let's talk about those three questions. Question number one is, what are your accomplishments? If they say, oh, closed a couple deals and we call it a day, that may not be enough for you. We don't know any details. But if they come back and say, you know what? My client was one of five offers. We were the second lowest offer and I still got it accepted. Or, hey, we were one of 17 offers. Not only did I get my offer accepted, but we were able to renegotiate the price by over $40,000, almost 10% of the list price. Those are impressive numbers. Even if someone said, hey, look, because of the volume of work our team does, we're part of the top agent network, which is the only the verified top 10% of producing agents in Los Angeles. Those are all things to think about when asking what are your accomplishments. The second one, how do you determine fair market value? Right, you see a home, you're like, well, is it overpriced, is it underpriced? You know, these estimates are usually way off because they don't factor in condition, quality, certain improvements, anything like that. So what does an agent do? If an agent says, hey, I just do a half mile radius and send you the averages, again, run for the hills. That's a huge mistake because you don't know what's included in that half mile radius. In Los Angeles, we have a lot of streets that are like demarcations. Hey, I wanna live north of Wilshire or I wanna live south of Ventura Boulevard. Those are all factors that need to be taken into consideration. An agent needs to know that. So what would be a good response? Hey, I look at things like an appraiser does. I look at comps that are similar to the home you're interested in, make, although judgment calls, we do make certain adjustments based off the size, the bedroom count, all those things. Then I can give you a range and I can give you a recommendation. The third question is, how do you find homes? So if they say, I set you up automatically on the MLS and if there's something you like, you let me know. Now, some buyers might be okay with that. I have clients that are okay with that. However, that shouldn't be their only answer. Their answer is, look, pocket listings are banned, but coming soon listings are still allowed. So I look in the MLS for those coming soon homes. I also reach out to agents in the area you're looking for to see if they have anything coming up that they may not have yet advertised, right? It's all about that networking with agents. You need an agent that hustles for you. Now common theme between those three questions, they're all open-ended questions. You will find agents that are what I call yes people. They're like, do you look for uh, off, off market? Yes. Do you help negotiate on my behalf? Yes. They're gonna tell you whatever, they, whatever you want to hear and that's what you wanna avoid. Ask open-ended questions and it forces them to think critically. If you have any questions for me, open-ended or not, feel free to comment, feel free to send me a message. I'm here for you guys and I will talk to you guys all soon. Talk to you next week. Hey everyone, hopefully you liked the video. If so, please don't forget to give it a like, maybe show some love in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe. We do have other videos posted. Please go ahead and watch them, enjoy them. They'll be posted somewhere here. Feel free to click um, or just view the channel in general. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week.